And he said, I don't think now's a good time to go. And I thought, like, it's the perfect time. She's not going to be home for two days. And then he showed me a photograph on his telephone of... Uh, Objection, Your Honor. Also there's something. It's, it's a photograph, Your Honor. As being relayed to him by Mr. Beck. He, he says he looked at it on his, on his phone. I'll rule the objection as the photograph. What was the photograph of Mr. Depp? It was a, it was a, it was a photograph of the bed, our bed. Um, and on my side of the bed, um, was human fecal matter. Um, so I understood why it wasn't a good time to go down there. Um, my initial response to that was, I mean, I laughed. It was so outside. It was so bizarre and so grotesque that I could only laugh. Um, and um, so I did not go down there that day. And then she, <clears throat> she started to, she was telling me about the, uh, she brought up the situation of the uh, fecal matter on the bed. And I, uh, <laughs> uh, and she just tried to blame it on the dogs. Why didn't, you, why didn't you think it could have been the dogs? The dogs were... The, they're teacup Yorkies. They, they weigh about four pounds each. Um, the photograph that I saw... And, and, uh, I, I mean, I lived with those dogs for many years. Um, and so did Hilda Vargas, um, my, she's a, she's a woman who's been with me for 30 plus years, you know, from the very beginning. And she was the one who photographed it. Um, it was clear she knew the dogs as well as I did. That, that was not, none of that did not come from a dog. It just didn't 